This is, this is the biggest talking point right now. And uh, it usually begins with a number. So uh, the assumption as per pollsters, at least before the elections began, is that we're going to have uh, continuity, policy continuity, perhaps a third term uh, in all likelihood of the Modi government. The question is, by how much? Now you need 273 to form a government. Does BJP get more than it did last time on its own? What's the number you guys have? Uh, Eurasia Group is pretty consistent with uh, where uh, Modi and the BJP landed last time around. So it's 305 plus or minus 10 seats. My interest is not in the exact number. My interest is that of all the elections in the world this year, India, the largest democracy that is going to the ballot place. India also one of the countries with the smoothest transition. Right? There's not a lot of uncertainty about the legitimacy of the system. It is seen to be free and fair and transparent. And Modi, who has been uh, in power now for two terms, is almost certainly going to be in power for another term on the back of pretty strong economic performance and consistent reform. Uh, that is, in the grand scheme of things, um, a very stabilizing message. But you guys do have a number. No, as I said, 305 plus or minus 10 is the number. Okay, yeah. so 305 plus minus 10 is the number.